My name is Linda Torres. Uh, I studied at the Hanguk University of Foreign Studies in Seoul, South Korea uh, during the fall semester of 2019. So I've been interested in the Korean culture for like 10 years now. So it was definitely something that I wanted to do during my college career. Um, but it just seemed like really impossible because of the expenses. But um, luckily with financial aid and stuff like that, I was able to make it happen. So yeah. Our particular university was just on one block. So, you know, getting to each building was really easy. And also another really nice thing was that my dorm was literally across the street. So I remember one time I was in class and I forgot my laptop. I don't know how you would do that, but that's something I did. <laughs> and I told my professor really quick, I was like, hey, can I go run to my dorm and get my laptop? And they're like, yeah, sure. And so I literally went to my dorm, grabbed my laptop and came back within like three minutes. So it was really nice. Um, Another thing that was really nice was obviously the food <laughs> because there's so many restaurants um, that were across the street from the university that I was at and um, it's the food is just amazing. And then the third thing is the people. The professors are really nice. Um, the classes were really small, so you got to meet your professors individually and um, they kind of knew your face, that kind of thing that you don't get at Texas State where you're just kind of like, I recognize your face, it's familiar, but like I don't really know your name, like that kind of thing. In South Korea, um, the classes are more like a, of a master's program type of layout um, where you have classes that are longer. So at Texas State, you'll have classes Tuesday and Thursday or Monday, Wednesday, Friday for an hour or an hour and a half or whatever. Um, so it's really continuous, but in Korea, your classes are longer so they're like two to three hours and you get like a five ten minute break in between just depends on your professor how nice they are and then you only have that class like once a week so it's very like graduate style the the school weeks if that makes sense the one stressful thing that I would have a tip for for students who want to go through this particular program is that they require you to pay your dormitory fee in full in cash so it was a little over a thousand five hundred uh, won so if you also are trying to use like your credit card for example abroad you can only withdraw certain amounts of money at a time so I would say once they once you find out that deadline of when you have to pay your dormitory fee in full cash I would plan like at least two weeks prior and like consistently take out a little bit at a time to where you have the full amount, if that makes sense. I wanted to stay. <laughs> like I, I was with my my friend um, Kate, who's also from Texas State, and um, she was fortunate enough to extend her stay because when you're there, you know you have a set amount of time that you plan on staying there, and then. Um, the study abroad office will email you asking if you want to extend your your period of study and I mean if your financial budget allows then you can stay um, but I unfortunately <laughs> I have to graduate in December so uh, and I studied last um, last fall so fall of 2019 and Texas State has this really, it has this role where you, ha if you're graduating, your last 24 hours have to be at Texas State. So you can't be at another institution, you have to be at Texas State. So my last year had to be at Texas State, so I couldn't extend my period of study. Um, but I definitely would want to go again. Like I mentioned before, like I've, I've just loved the Korean culture for 10 years now. Um, it's something that's really near and dear to my heart. And, um, you know, I'm trying to learn the language. So actually being in um, surrounded by the culture and being able to be a part of the culture and like really only hearing certain sounds, you're able to pick up the language a lot more. Um, so I would want to go to master the language just to be um, 
you know, involved in the culture and um, it's just a really, and it's really, it's a really safe place. It's, it's really safe. Um, the food is delicious. Just everything about it, the music playing on the streets, the people are really nice. Um, it's, I, I just want to go again for everything <laughs> that it is. <laughs> I would say if you are interested in experiencing another culture, then for sure. Um, it's definitely not <laughs> like America <laughs> um, in the sense that uh, like just even like when you're walking on the sidewalks like over there, there's like so many little things, you know, that add up. And so it might be overwhelming for someone who's completely new to the culture, like who hasn't seen videos or who hasn't really immersed their, their, their selves, themselves yet, if that makes sense, mentally. Um, so I would say if you are uh, willing to take that risk, then go for it. Um, and if, if you have any interest at all in the Korean culture in general, then I would definitely recommend to go for it because it is more than worth it.